Hello guys, it's LazyBeast here today with a guide on how you can complete your trading post activities in a fast and efficient way, if you want to, because of course there's no rush because you have the whole month, but if you want to get this done in an efficient way and not waste your time, then this guide will be for you. The month of July is a little bit different because they're doing some sort of summer celebration, so we can actually earn a bit more traders tender this month than we would do normally, which means that we will need to complete maybe one or two extra activities to fill that bar to get the monthly reward, which is the Grotto Netherwing Dragon Riding Mount, which is a very nice model indeed. So when it comes to completing your traveler's log for the month efficiently, it basically comes down to picking the right objectives and trying to get ones that are efficient and that ideally overlap as well. So which ones are those? So you've very probably noticed by now that there are some objectives on the Traveler's Log that are always there every month. For example, complete 15 world quests, complete 5 Mythic Plus dungeons, 15 Mythic Plus dungeons, kill 25 raid bosses, do 30 quests, those kind of things. And these ones usually give quite a good chunk of traders tender between 150 to 250 if you're lucky. So you may think that the ideal situation will be is to focus on the ones that give the biggest amount of tender. But what you'll find is some of them are fairly quick to complete like the 25 rare boss ones where others such as complete 15 mythic plus dungeons. That's potentially going to take you around five to six hours if you're efficient. So yeah, not really worth focusing on that. If the only thing that you do in the game is mythic plus then that then go for that. That's great. But if not, you're best off doing a mixture of different things. So let's go through what I think are the best objectives and the ones that I always focus on at the start of every month. So first of all is the 25 raid bosses. Now old raids account for this, so you don't need to do current dragonfly bosses. The way I usually do this is to go on a bit of an old raid route. So you want old raids that have a lot of bosses in them ideally, so you're not running to and from different raids. So the one I normally start with is Ice Crown Citadel. And obviously doing this, you've got a chance to get invincible as well. Do make sure that you are doing this on 25 man heroic, otherwise you don't have the shot at invincible. And the quickest way to get there is to take the portal to Dalaran in Crystal Song Forest, and you can find that in the portal room of your faction's capital city. Once you've done Ice Crown Citadel, that's 12 bosses done, so you're nearly halfway there for this objective. What I then usually do is go to the Dragon Soul. Now, this is because I'm still after some of the mounts from there. You could pick any other red, but the Dragon Soul is quite good because it has 8 bosses. It's reasonably quick to complete. I understand that you may hate the Spine of Deathwing uh, fight, and I do <laughs> I completely understand why. So if you don't want to do this red, just pick a different one. You could do the Bastion of Twilight instead, which is in the Twilight Highlands. And there's a portal to that if you've done the Twilight Highlands introductory quest from Cataclysm, or you could also do the Firelands raid, which again, there's a portal near that to Mount Hygel, where that raid is located, near all the other Cataclysm zone portals in your faction's main city, so either of those will do fine. If you need any mounts or transmog from the Throne of Thunder raid on Mr. Pandaria, then that's also a good option too, because it's got quite a lot of bosses in there, so if you do ICC and Throne of Thunder, you're probably only going to need maybe two or three more raid bosses, so you can pick literally any raid, whichever one you want to go to, and do that, and then that's that one ticked off nicely. And remember that progress for this is account wide, so what you could do is just do maybe two or three runs of Ice Crown Citadel if you want like two or three shots at Invincible, that kind of thing. You don't have to do a different raid every time. Making good use of your ults is a massive thing that improves your speed at completing your Traveler's Log, by the way, and you'll see that as we go through some of the other objectives too. For example, this next one. So the second best one to focus on is getting reputation in the Dragon Isles. Now this one, if you've got everything set up correctly, you can complete this one in literally less than a minute. This month, currently as we speak, this is why I want to upload this today, is we have the buff for the World Quest weekly event, so we get 50% more rep from World Quests. We also have the buff from the Diablo launch, uh, the Winds of Sanctuary, which increases rep again by another 50%. So if you have any of the tokens, the little insignias in your bags, um, so say your main is already max renown with the Dragon Isles factions, so when you complete the weekly rep quest in Baldraken for that character, you get tokens which you can then send to your alts because they're account bound, which give reputation with the Dragon Isles factions, so I think it's 500 each. So if you do, your, do this quest on your main, send those to your alt, and your alt will receive the buffs to any sort of reputation gain with the Dragon Isles factions because your main is already at 20 renown or higher, so you get like 200% bonus rep I think it is. Um, so literally redeem a couple of those tokens and you're going to go straight to 4k rep earned. Really easy. This also does work with Lorm Niffin. So the Diablo buff does not work, but the other buff does. 
You may have in your bags already, if you haven't used this, a token for Lorm Niffin reputation, because when you do the quest initially in the campaign, when you start questing around Lorm Niffin, you get a few, I think there's two or three tokens you get. Some that give a thousand rep for Lorm Niffin, and some that give 2,000 or, or 1,500. It's around that number, but redeem one of those tokens and you're gonna get that objective two ticked off instantly. Don't worry if not, you could always do an alt and do the first couple of campaign quests if you wanted to, because that would also tick off some other objectives on the Traveler's Log. Um, but yeah, there's many ways around this. Another very fast objective to complete is the Creating Shadow Flame Crests one. You only need to create three Shadow Flame Crests of any type, even Welpling. So if you have a lot of fragments saved up, then you can complete this one again pretty much instantly. If not, combine this with the World Quest one because you will get fragments, usually Welpling fragments, from World Quests and any other objectives that you do in the Dragon Isles. So save them fragments up and just create three quests as soon as you can. Another easy bit of Traveler's Tender. Now these next two objectives to focus on go hand in hand really nicely with all the reputation gains and the just the general completion. It's the one to complete 50 in world quests in the Dragon Isles and complete 30 quests in general. So bear in mind these quests can be done for any sort of area of the game, but doing it in the Dragon Isles is the most efficient way. So for the quest objective, because you need to complete twice as many quests as you do world quests, try and focus on the ones that are really small quests like, do you know when you get the trophies of glorious combat or whatever they call for the uh, Iskar and Tuskar faction, handing things like those in, just a simple token, that counts. Some of the world quests do also count as well, which is a bit, um, bit strange, but just bear that in mind. When you do things like complete a dragon riding race, that also counts as a quest, so you could just repeat that if you wanted to. But any kind of quests are fine. What I suggest you do is focus on completing the 15 world quests first because it's likely that other quests will pop up when you're on your route for your world quest that you can just complete at, at the same time to make it a bit more efficient. Now when it comes to the completing 15 dragon riding races in the Zaralek Caverns, initially I saw this and thought, no, I'm not going to do that one. That is not going to be efficient. But I give it a go and actually it turned out to be one of the more efficient ones. Probably about the same efficiency if not better actually than completing the 25 old world raid bosses because the good thing is with the dragon riding races you can just choose one whichever is the most efficient it doesn't even have to be a world quest one currently you can choose any of the races that you like you can do it on the same difficulty so you could just do 15 advanced ones if you want to but what i suggest that you do if you're not seeking any sort of particular achievements around these like the gold advanced races and all that kind of thing then if you just do the race on the most basic difficulty it's pretty much just going around on autopilot or all you have to do is aim you can just do those quite quick it'll take you between sort of 15 to 20 minutes because each race tends to be around sort of 60 seconds so yeah 15 20 minutes you're good to go and if the dragon riding race that you do choose is a world quest then that'll also give you some credit towards that as well another very good objective to focus on is the one with the researchers under fire event so kill 50 creatures while this event is active now if this is up every month then brilliant it might not be it might be a slightly different version of the objective maybe just to complete the event or to complete a certain amount of objective points in the event but whatever it is that's likely a good one to focus on the event is up fairly often there is around a half an hour period after it's finished where you need to wait for it to restart again but just keep an eye on your map when you're in the Zaralek caverns you can see when this event's going to start so just head over try and get a group if possible because it makes it quite a bit easier and then just complete the objective there for a nice amount of progress so those are the objectives that i would do every single month so the 25 old raid bosses 30 quests 15 world quests completing um, sorry creating shadow flame crests and doing the races if there's any dragon ride racing ones once you've done all those you'll likely have between sort of 800 to a thousand tender you should do so then all you need to do then is choose some other fairly efficient ones to finish off your traveler's log for the month so what i suggest you do is i'll give you some examples from this month but in, in any given month just bear in mind that sometimes there are other events going on things like the dark moon fair it could be noble garden easter it could be winter vale for christmas time um, those events normally bring with them extra traveler's log things to do but they're only available for a certain time in the month so if they're available at the start and you're trying to get your travelers log completed at the beginning of the month then just make use of those events because sometimes they're very quick objectives so i think when it was easter at noble garden there was objectives such as pick up 15 eggs and that maybe gave you like 150 tender so that's very fast to do and sometimes these are more efficient sometimes they aren't it depends on the thing so just always check out and bear in mind you know what's currently active and what's coming up so is it worth waiting a few days potentially to get a quicker objective rather than for example completing 15 mythic plus dungeons which obviously would take a long time 
So what you want to do to finish off your traveler's log is just try and highlight which ones are going to be the most efficient ones at this given time and then complete those. So for example, this month, one that I'd not seen before was um, do some fishing in Draenor to basically catch 50 fish. So I thought, really easy, teleport to my garrison, fish in the garrison. That didn't prove to work out quite well, so what I had to do is fly out of the garrison, just go to the nearby coast, do some fishing there, just continuously fished for about 12 minutes and caught 50 fish. Really easy, didn't need any, any special gear or particular fishing skill, so anybody can do that dead quick. Another one was um, do the slash sniff amount at Mirit in Lomnifen. So you did have to be on a dig to do this, not just in Lomnifen. I did try to just go and sniff him, didn't work. He wanted a specific sniffing ritual to complete. So I went on a dig with him, sniffed him, and then you could just leave after that. You don't even need to complete the objective. But I think that gave 50 traders tender. So, sorry, 50 travelers log progress. So yeah, super, super simple. There are sometimes ones that require you to do things like use a specific toy or set off a firework or do something really random based off what's currently going on. So they may be quick. If you don't have the toy, then you can't do the um, objective, which is fine. There's always something you can do. And if you're not that bothered about getting it done really quickly, I just wanted to get it done today on, on the first day because I wanted that mount and I just enjoy trying to get it done as quick as possible. But obviously if you don't and you just want to take your time, then that's absolutely fine as well. Because just doing what you normally do in the game, you know, if you play in a few different sort of play styles, even if it's quite casual, you will fill up the traveler's log, um, you know, as you progress through the month. So that's pretty much it for the most efficient objectives. Now I'm just going to say, I was a bit annoyed with the Traveler's Log this month with the uh, Tyrael's Charger because we had the Goblin event, didn't we? Where the Goblin was spawning and we was killing it. I was logging in, you know, relatively often, killing that. I did eventually get the mount to drop, which was great. And I did have uh, one guy, I, when I actually got the mount, someone offered me about 200k for the mount. Then he offered me 400k. I did decline because I did, I did want the mount. Um, and I said to the guy, don't worry, because it probably will become um, something from the, you know, the trading post sometime soon. Uh, thinking it might be about six months off or something. But no, this month, here it is, Tyrael's Tragedy at the Traveler's Log. And uh, it annoyed me initially because I thought, you know, pe people have been going and getting this and farming this stupid goblin event, which wasn't fun. The first time maybe it was fun, but after that, let's be completely honest, it wasn't fun. Um, and then all of a sudden it's just on the trade, you know, the, travel the trader's post. So I felt like I'd wasted my time. I know you could obviously argue that, yeah, but now you don't need to spend a uh, trader's tender on it, which, yep, yeah, is great. But if I'd have known it was coming to the trading post, I probably wouldn't have farmed the goblin event because, like I said, it wasn't fun. So maybe I just wish that they'd just been a bit more honest about that and just said, look, don't worry, you don't need to farm. It's going to be on the, the trader's post sometime soon. So, yeah, a bit miffed, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? I guess it is what it is. So anyway, there's my little bit of a rant over. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it and maybe got some nice useful tips from it there. Any questions that you have or ideas for video, suggestions that you want to make, anything like that, I'm always open. Leave them in the comments below and I will discuss when I get a chance. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I've been Lazy Beast. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a little like and consider subscribing for more videos like this about World of Warcraft and gaming in general. Thank you very much for making it all the way to the end of the video. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.